welcome to just tk on this beautiful tk tuesday so you're going to get some shredded carrots some onion powder garlic powder fish sauce soy sauce sesame oil you can also use minced ginger or fresh ginger um, you're going to use cabbage. You can get it shredded or you can cut it up yourself. You can use turkey, ground turkey, ground beef, or I've seen people do ground pork as well. I'm using minced garlic for this recipe. And what you're going to go ahead and do is you're going to mash it up and go ahead and get that ground turkey grounded. <laughs> Just joking. You're going to go ahead and brown the ground turkey. So you're going to cook it in entirety. Um, if you wanted to, you can actually put a little water in it because turkey doesn't give off that much like of a, um, I don't want to say juice, but you know, like I can't think of the word right now. It's totally, I guess it's own oil or you can put like a little bit of oil in it as well. I think I've seen people do like olive oil or avocado oil in it as well so it would totally be up to you but i just put like a little bit of water also i did go ahead and do some chopped up onions you know what else would have been really really good in it even though i know it's not in an egg roll um some mushrooms would have been so good also my mom like bean sprouts so that probably would have even been good in this um and just about any vegetable that you could have thought of i could have probably put some peppers in it i wasn't thinking that it was a ground turkey so i didn't think rubber um wasn't gonna eat this so i could have put mushrooms in it but i was thinking of robert when i made it but also not thinking about it i should have just did it with ground chicken instead of ground turkey because he doesn't like turkey at all even though he's a thanksgiving baby he don't like turkey so any whom anyway though um basically just cutting up um more onions um just to my liking or whatever you like and let me just tell you one thing too y'all um i do change a lot of the recipes to what i like because i know what i eat i yes i will try things once but if i don't like something i'm not going to do it and if i love something like for instance if i love to season stuff or i love to do this or that i'm going to do it because guess who has to eat it baby me in this household so i am going to do things that are best for the household so you know a lot of people have a different um cooking styles and that's okay like it's no judgment zone here you do whatever you want you season however you want if you feel like you don't need as much seasoning that's fine as well too again no judgment zone and don't be judging people in these comments if they leave um you know other things that could be done okay um just again we don't we don't judge over here it's a very positive safe area and you eat what you want okay hello somebody so i did add the coleslaw and i did also coleslaw i meant to say that too you can add actually coleslaw because you know most coleslaws has like a red cabbage a green cabbage and like a carrot in it so you could have did that too if you wanted to but i just did like i said the regular cabbage um and then i did just put some of that um teriyaki sauce in it and i think i also put some soy sauce in it at this point um at this point too you're going to go ahead and season again if you need to meaning more onion garlic powder um i didn't want to do too many seasonings like seasoning salt and things that i would usually put in like my african-american dishes because i wanted this to taste more like a asian chinese dish if that made any sense at all because it is supposed to be an egg roll in a bowl so um yeah i put the cabbage in stirred it around a little bit and again you could add a little bit more water if you need to or oil i just chose to put water when it was kind of like drying out in places um so i went ahead and put the carrots in i didn't want too many carrots but let me just tell you that crunch in the carrot was so good oh it was so good and this is where i just put like like i said more pepper a little bit more onion powder a little bit more garlic powder and um i believe that was a teriyaki sauce um, i'm about to show you in a minute yeah it was a teriyaki sauce and um again once it starts getting cooked um and then i did do the sesame seed oil now i did see people do sesame seeds as well but they put it in like after they plated their food 
and then i also did see people do scallions or green onions as well just to give it a little bit more flavor and i guess a cuter presentation as well i didn't have the green onions or scallions so i didn't do that um i did however put a little bit of sesame seed i just kind of judged it on how big my pan was i really didn't do like a tablespoon or a teaspoon of what and then once the cabbage start to get cooked and the meat was actually cooked i did end up tasting it so i was like okay mm, it's missing this it's missing that and as you'll see um in the video a little bit later down the line i did have to add more teriyaki sauce i added the fish sauce because i had totally forgot about that um and i might have added I don't think I added any more uh, sesame oil, but you'll, you'll see me actually just put a little bit more, like I said, teriyaki sauce, and you could do a little bit more seasoning sauce too. You know what also would be good? Like I might not put it in the whole entire dish, but what I would have done is tried uh, duck sauce instead of the sweet chili sauce. The sweet chili sauce was good and I will use that at the end. And that's just for my portion because everybody doesn't like like hot sauce. You know what I mean? Um, and, it, and it can be a little bit spicy. Um, and again, I think I just put a little bit of salt in it um, because it was just not giving me the flavor that I wanted. And I was just stirring away, honey. And then here is where I put the fish sauce in. Um, and at this point, I think I had just put a little bit more teriyaki sauce in it. Again, you're tasting it. You're doing it to your flavor, to your liking. Um, again, it's so many recipes out here, but I feel like recipes are for you <laughs> to make your own. That's what I mean. Now, we're going to go ahead and just plate this or bowl it. <laughs> um, I did use my ramen bowl. I did not use this thick spoon. Um, because you know it's really for broth um but i did go ahead and dish it with a spoon because it made it very very easy i did do a white rice and also you could put um egg in your white rice and fry it a little bit i just didn't want that kind of vibe right now i just wanted the white rice with uh the cabbage mix over it um and yeah and i'm just plating it as i go along it was so good and it has so much flavor in it. I really think everyone should try it at least once. It's super easy to make. I would say you can make it in under about 20, 25 minutes. Um, but yeah, here is the final look of it. And I did use um, some sweet chili sauce. As I said, I would rather have had duck sauce. But um, again, it is really good. And I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Thank y'all so much for watching. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye y'all.